Johnny? Gonna be all right today? Gonna have to be, aren't I? Did you know that Alia quit yesterday? Really? That's a shame. Her and Aiden were close. You think she's gonna carry on this work? I, I just thought I'd give you the heads up. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Liz. You all right? Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. Uh, off to see Aiden at the chapel of rest this afternoon. Oh. Do you want me to come with you? Oh, thanks, but Jenny's coming, so... I'll be thinking of you. You were the only one with any time for Aiden when everyone else turned their backs on him. Yeah, but the whole factory. I mean, I'd have been blown away just to get a few quid. The question is, why'd they try to keep it from you? Well, do we know that for sure? No, Adam would have told me normally. And he was pretty shifty when Jenny and Carla were in the office. I suspect he's in cahoots with them. And why, at the same time, Carla was trying to get rid of you from the factory? Which she's now achieved. And we need to get a hold of the complete will. Check what else it says, because this... This is only part of it, and we need to know everything. Shouldn't you be packing? How are we doing for time? Fine. It's a nice choice of suit. I always liked him in that. Tracy's bill for the flowers is over there, by the way. What, did you go to her? Well, where else was I supposed to go? I don't especially like the woman. And I don't like the fact that she's making money out of my son's death. I just wanted to do all I could without bothering you. Uh, all right. Stop going on about it. We'll get the coffee. You don't make me any of you. Well, I wasn't going to make some just for myself. Oh, those whiskey's what I could do with. Well, you can't go to the chapel of rest smelling of alcohol. Carla was saying uh, Ali has quit at the factory. Yeah, yeah, so I, so I gather. And you didn't think to tell me about it? <sighs> Just, I thought you would have heard. Anyways, it, it's, it's way important. Here, get this coffee down, yeah. Shot of caffeine will do you good. <gasps> I am so sorry. I didn't even want any flaming coffee. I'll, I'll, I'll get it straight to the dry cleaners. Oh, they'll get it out by tomorrow, huh? Yeah, no, they can do wonders these days. You know, I'll, you go on ahead and I'll see to this. Trust you to choose this moment to get clumsy. What are you saying? That I did it on purpose? I didn't say that. No, but you meant it, didn't you? Just like you meant it when you accused me of wishing Aidan dead. We were going to draw a line under that. Yeah, well, clearly you haven't. Three weeks now. Three weeks I have been treading on eggshells around you. I'm sorry if I've been upset. I'll try and cheer up. All I get is accusations. How can you still think I hated him that much? All right, we didn't get along. Oh, will you just stop it? I've had enough. <sighs> You're nothing but a liability. Stay away. Anyway, Steve's oh, yeah. looking after all that. Are you off? Right now, just went for a taxi. Didn't fancy driving. No, Jenny? I told her I'd rather go on my own. You had another hour? I don't know if I'm coming or going at the moment. The offer I made before still stands. Couldn't ask you to do that. I meant it. Well, if you're sure. Positive. 